Now let's get to it. If you came to this video, you came because you were interested in learning something about manipulating photos, cutting out backgrounds, or just graphic designing as a whole. So I'm going to show you this program. This is something that we use to teach our kids. One, because it's free, it's flexible, and it can be used on various platforms, PC, Mac, Link, Sysix, etc. I don't think they have one for the tablet yet or for the phone, but if you are using a computer, this is a great free program that will get you the same results as something like Photoshop, which is a paid program or a paid subscription. So this is great for starters if you think you have interest in this area and you might want to dive in a little deeper. Okay, so first things we're going to do is we're going to create a little canvas, all right? I'm going to create a canvas here by going to File and clicking New. I'm going to make sure my measurements are the way that I like them. When you first get in here, it's going to be in Pixels. Now, because I'm not as familiar with pixels, I use inches because I do flyers and posters and things that I know I want to be a certain size, okay? But in this instance, um, this would be the equivalent to this. So my inches um, will convert to these pixels, okay? Furthermore, I'm going to go to Advanced Options, and I'm going to click on Fill with Transparency. I've used this program before, so mine is set there automatically, but yours may not be. So I highly recommend that you do this and make sure you fill with Transparency, which only means there's no color and there's no background. Okay. So... Here we have a rectangle tool. Here we have an uh, ellipse tool. Now, I'm not going to tell you every tool right now because we're not going to go over all of them in this lesson. We'll go over a lot of them that I find are necessary to get you going right away, as well as very informative to accomplish what you want to accomplish. Okay, so this is the path tool. Um, the color picker tool, excuse me, this is the color picker tool. This is how you move items around, up and down, etc. This is a rotate tool. This is a share tool, we might get to that. This is a transform tool, pretty cool. You can rotate, make it bigger, smaller, etc. This is obviously your text tool, your bucket fill tool, which means um, you're kind of like a paintbrush, but you select colors and dump it out on the canvas. This is a gradient tool, which is a cool feature, pencil tool, paintbrush, and the eraser tool. For now, we're going to focus on just those. And as the lesson progresses, we'll go over some of the other great features in this program. Awesome? Okay, cool. So let's get started. First things I want to do, for example, is I want to create text. Now, I can do this several ways, but I'm going to click on the text icon, left click in an area, and drag out a shape. In my case, I'm going to make a rectangle and I'm going to just start typing. Text tool. Now I'm going to left click and drag over my text and increase the font size. Hit return. And now it's on two lines. I want it to be one straight line. I'm going to left click here on one of these corners and drag it out to make it one line and not two lines. Okay. While it's highlighted, I could also change the color. I can make it bold. I can italics it, underline it, and draw a line through it. Next things next, let's say I wanted to put a background color behind my text, okay? So for starters, I would create a new layer. You can do that by going here, 
new layer or you can do that from going here new layer I'm going to click new layer it's going to be the same size as my entire canvas and it's going to be transparent unless I want a color hit OK I'm going to go to my bucket tool and because I'm changing the color of this new layer I'm focused on the foreground now if it was in fact, I was using the same layer as the tech tool, text tool, and I didn't create a new layer. I may want to just do the background here. But the problem with that is when I go to erase or get rid of my text, it's also going to remove the background that I added. So if I put everything on that I do on a new layer, it gives me a lot of flexibility to get rid of things, move things without a...